Hi you guys, it's Mrs. Buitenbeentje. Welcome back to my channel. So today is a sew and tell video of a easy fur coat that I made for a Gatsby party in December. The pattern is taken out of the Burda of December 2011. It is pattern number 113 and it has a workshop, which is always interesting. The workshop consists of 15 steps and the type of fabric that I use is this fabric right here, which is an emerald green short haired fur. The back is just uh, smooth and it is just a lovely, lovely fabric. I do have some left, so I might even make a pillow out of the rest because lovely. Uh, so for the pa for the fabric you need one meter thirty one meter forty, and for the lining you need one meter ten. The sizes starts from thirty eight up to forty six. So usually I make a thirty six if I'm a thirty four uh, in terms of coats. So this one I just took it as it is and I just made the thirty eight, which was really good we have four pattern pieces five sorry we have five pattern pieces the front which is on the self side the back which is on the fold we have the front sleeve so the front part of the sleeve the back part of the sleeve and we have a lining uh, for the collar all pattern pieces have a piece extra that you have to draw for the lining. So when you do need the lining, you just have to cut it off and then you have the pieces for the line. So this is, this is my fur faux coat. It's a shorty. It's a short one, I mean. <laughs> shorty. It's a short one, but guys, look at this. So lush. I love it. I. Honestly, you guys, I am in love. As always, I want to put the picture to measure success. So this is the picture of the pattern, and this is me. <laughs> okay, of course, I'm going to show you the inside. So I did cut the back. I didn't fold the uh, fur because I got a tip when I was at the far fabric store that I should lay it flat and then just put the pattern pieces on the fabric and just make sure that when I cut, I try to cut within the, let's see how the fabric goes. So the fabric has lines going across so, and so try to use as much as, so you won't lose as much hair. So that's what I try to, or that's what I did for the most part. I had hair in my room for days. However, um, it was worth it. What did I do? This is the inside of my coat. As always, I have my labels right here. It's not my label, but it's definitely a label that I buy on eBay. And I just put it in there. I have my lining. I did the lining to attach the lining to the original fabric. I did it by hand. I hand stitched that one. Uh, I hand stitched underneath as well. So I had a large piece that I needed to. Mm. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, so I did hand stitch the the lower part of the coat. And then this part is interesting, but I think I told you guys how you can have a nice fold is you sew it the other way around and then you turn it inside out and it comes out like this. Oh, this coat does have darts. And that's it, you guys. It's a very simple, you can see some tracing thread, which is just so wrong on my behalf, but gotta take those out. But in any case, I'm going to, I'm going to insert a picture of my entire outfit, but definitely a beautiful, and I do mean beautiful, fur coat. Three quarter length, well, a little over three quarter, yeah, length sleeve, 
but you guys isn't this flashy <laughs> i'm bringing the word flashy back totally is totally is so yeah that's it that's it you guys as always i enjoy making this video i hope you enjoy watching don't be afraid to comment down below if you have any questions or just want to say hey and have a great great day bye